So apparently the misfits boxing match between Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis is about to be cancelled. This is due to a lawsuit which Logan Paul fiance Nina Agdal has filed against Dylan Dennis. And the question is, what's going to happen from now on? Now, the backstory to this is Dylan Dennis in the run-up to the fight with Paul has been posting several different pictures in various states of undress of Nina Agdal. The pictures showing her with uh, several people that she's dated before in the past and obviously the assumption or the underlying uh, uh, intimation there is that she is a person who likes the party and enjoys a very, uh, very exciting extracurricular lifestyle. Now, what can be done as far as a lawsuit is concerned? It appears that from several different reports, including one with TMZ, Nina Agdal has filed a lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order against Dylan, Dylan Dennis. And apparently if he violates that, there is also the report that she's seeking jail time. Now, a temporary restraining order is to prevent somebody from doing something. Typically, it is to pr prevent direct contact, so prevent a person from calling a victim, uh, posting anything publicly to them directly or interacting with them in some way. And you can imagine if the, the restraining order was granted and Nina Agdal went to the fight that was scheduled in addition to Dylan Dennis going there as well, how would that go down? Because then Dennis would be presumably uh, breaking the law. So... That's why the fight is now potentially in jeopardy because of that issue and other issues uh, like it. And the problem is that under the First Amendment, the right to free speech of the U.S. Constitution, people can post things, especially if they are true in uh, uh, most instances. You can post whatever you like online and you're not restrained from it apart from if the platform itself wants to take you off their uh, site. However, that depends on exactly what you post. For example, if you get an illegally accessed picture or a picture showing somebody that is uh, in various stages of undress and they've not consented to that picture being released, then in a lot of places that is actually considered a crime. Also, if you have a digitally altered picture and you lie that it is a real picture of a person in a compromising position, that is also not something that is likely to be allowed under the law and there could be legal recompense. There could be damages that would have to be paid for that. Now, whether a court is going to grant the temporary restraining order depends on these issues. It depends on if those pictures are uh, uh, how they were obtained, who gave them to Dylan Dennis, if they were even publicly accessible in the first place. So they might have already been published on a different site. Uh, so these will all factor into the suit. I, I, I don't believe it's a cut and dried case. I think it's a lot more complex depending on a lot of different factors now. It'll be interesting to take a look at the actual court documents themselves. And I may do a another video after taking a look at them. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.